All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, man. We back again. Thank you guys for watching the content, sticking with me. Hopefully, I'll stay over 16.8 for right now. But listen, I gotta. I know a lot of people have been talking about this, and shout out to the fellas because I really don't don't keep up with pro football focus like that. But come on, man. They got Jared Goff ranked the 26th quarterback out of the starters, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. You got Matthew Stafford ranked 11, and he ain't even done nothing. <laughs> you got Justin Fields, Trevor Lawrence, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Come on, man. I don't understand this, bro. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It's called We Gets No Love. This dude... <laughs> <laughs> now, if you base it off situation, yeah, he he he, he don't have the best hand, you know, he, he he not rocking the best hand. He gotta play the hand he was dealt, which is not the best, but it's arguably better than the 2008 Detroit Lions when Matthew Stafford came in there. I mean, this this dunk is a joke to me, man. This guy's been to a Super Bowl, and you got Justin Fields, Trevor Lawrence, dudes, dudes who have never taken a snap in the National Football League before above a guy who went to a Super Bowl. Now you see the cats at the top. Patrick Mahomes, number one. Tom Brady, number two. Then you get to Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields. Justin Fields is number 25, bro. That's not even right. They shouldn't even be... They should automatically... Be 31 and 32. I mean, it is what it is, bro. Yeah, how you, how you gonna give somebody a position they ain't even played in the National Football League? A ranking. They ain't even done nothing, man. That's you know. <clears throat> I miss these Lions headaches, man. I really do, bro. And talking about this gives me a headache. It does. But you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Because see, I'm a guy. I like having chips on my shoulders, man. I like having you say I can't do something, I'm gonna show you that I can. Okay, but I don't need to just show you. I'm doing it for me. And I hope Jared Goff got that mentality. It's funny, man. You know, Cats wanted to talk about my green screen features. Told, said that my me getting a green screen wasn't going to help people watch my channel. Well, like SpongeBob say, <laughs> 14,000 subs later. Th th this, this whole narrative got to stop, man. You know, you, you get out of your channel what you invest, right? <laughs> so investing in my channel was a smart move. But I love, I love this, man. I hope Jared Goff plays angry. I hope he plays and he shows everybody, hey, you know what? I was also the number one pick seven years removed from this guy. You threw me away for a bag of peanuts, man. Not even salted, bro. They was plain. They weren't even the ones with the hot, the hot little sprinkle powder on them, man. The Frito Hot Boys. They were just regular peanuts, bro. Like, that's it. You just gonna treat me like I'm nothing? <laughs> you just gonna treat me like I ain't take my team to a Super Bowl three, four years ago, whatever it was. But you gonna, you gonna put a cat that ain't never taken the... I don't care that he was the first overall pick. So what? He ain't done nothing in the National Football League. Neither has Trevor and Ryan Fitzpatrick, man. Come on, man. That, that is disgraceful. You're talking about a journeyman quarterback who is good for about five games. Five. And you ranked higher than me? Oh, no. I just leave y'all with this, man. I saw a podcast with Shaq on it the other day. And Shaq was talking about... You, you guys don't know about Shaq because y'all ain't listen to Shaq rap. I did. I own Shaq Diesel, okay? All right, I, I used to bump it too, all right? You can call me corny, you can call me lame, you can call me whatever you want to. But I used to rock me some Shaq Diesel, man. When he, when he gets drafted, the album opens with him being drafted. With the first pick in the 1991, uh, I think it is, or 92 NBA draft, the Orlando Magic select O'Keele O'Neal, Shaquille O'Neal. And in a song he did with the Fushnickers, he says, who was the first pick me word is born in? Not a Christian Leitner, not Alonzo Mourning. You know why? Because both of those dudes at one time or another was slated to go above him. They had him, they had Shaq going number three. Shaq said, oh, no, man, we ain't gonna hide this. I'm gonna dominate. 
I'm a I'm a make sure that I go number one overall, and that's what he did. So I hope Jared Goff have the same mentality, man. This junk is just disrespectful. It's disgraceful. It should make all Detroit Lions fans vomit in their mouth. I mean, I understand we have to prove something, but at the same time, you're going to give a journeyman quarterback, quarterbacks who have never taken a snap in the National Football League, rank above me. Okay, okay, let's say you give them that. You're going to throw me in the bottom seven? Like that. You see what I'm talking. You see what I'm talking about. Now, is that the Jerry Golf effect or is that the Detroit Lions effect? You tell me in the comments below, man. But you know what, man? Ain't none of this stuff gonna change till we win games. And we can't just win games, man. We gotta dominate. I've been saying this my whole YouTube career covering Detroit Lions. We gotta stick wins down the other team's throat. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not talking about squeak games. I'm talking about domination. You dominate from start to finish. When it's time to stuff the ball down their throat, that's exactly what you do. All the way down to the stomach muscles. All the way down, man. Anyway, you can see, man, I ain't for games anymore. I'm not for games, man. And it's time, it's time that these Lions ain't either. Come on up, dominate, win some games. All right, I'm out, y'all.